Nihility has a problem. It's a problem that makes Harmony characters almost always better than Nihility when it comes to damage amplifying. Harmony amplifies damage by buffing teammates. Nihility amplifies damage by debuffing enemies. Harmony characters are generally designed so that most of their buffs have a 100% uptime. The problem with Nihility characters is that their debuffs struggle to keep 100% uptime. Every time an enemy enters battle or boss changes phase, their debuffs need to be reapplied. This doesn't sound like a big deal, but it really is. With most debuffs being tied to skills or ultimates, it can be hard on your skill point economy, or you have to wait for the character to get their ultimate again. If you want to maximize damage, your DPS may have to overcap on energy so that their ultimate is used once debuffs are reapplied. The devs are aware of this inherent problem, and newer Nihility characters are designed with it in mind. For example, Cypher's way of amplifying damage is through a trace that literally increases enemy damage received by 40% whenever she is on field. So basically all the time as long as she isn't dead, which gives 100% uptime to her debuff. Now the only problem is that Harmony character buffs are just so strong that you would still rather use them over Nihility. To be fair, Harmony is purely about buffing teammates, whereas Nihility isn't purely about debuffing for the sake of damage amplification. It just seems as if damage amplifying Nihility characters will never be able to compete with Harmony outside of special cases like Acheron.